Have you ever wondered why Pluto is no longer considered a planet in our solar system? Well, in this video, we will explore the reasons behind this controversial decision and the fascinating history of Pluto's planetary status. In 1846, astronomers discovered Neptune, the eighth planet orbiting around the Sun. After that, they were looking for a giant predicted planet, but they end up discovering a tiny icy planet called Pluto. It was discovered by an American astronomer in 1930. At the time of its discovery, Pluto was actually considered a planet, but later on many other small celestial bodies were discovered. At that time there was no proper criteria for a planet, so astronomers had to set some rules to classify any celestial body as a planet. In August 2006, the International Astronomical Union set some rules for a celestial body to be a planet. According to the IAU, there are three major criteria needed to fulfill for a celestial body to be a planet. The first is, the celestial body should be massive enough to be spherical in shape. The second is, the celestial body should be orbiting around the sun. The third is, it should have enough mass to clear the debris of its orbit. Now Pluto fulfills two of the major criteria. It is spherical in shape and it also orbits around the sun but it does not clear the debris of its orbit. The reason for that is Pluto is a very small planet. It is even smaller than the Earth's moon. Its gravity is not strong enough to pull the rocky pieces of its orbit towards itself. That is why Pluto is no longer considered a planet. Now it is called as dwarfed planet. But even if Pluto had a large mass, it would not be able to fulfill this criteria because Pluto is located in the Kuiper Belt. The Kuiper Belt is a region full of comets and rocky pieces, so it is impossible for any celestial body to clear its orbit in this region. But Pluto is not the only dwarfed planet in our solar system. There are many other dwarfed planets like Ceres, Hamaya, Makimaki and Eris. Now Pluto is not a planet, but still it is a beautiful and a fascinating world. It is composed of rock and ice, there are traces of methane, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide on the surface. Its surface is reddish-brown in color. Now Pluto is not a part of a planetary world, but rather of another fascinating world that makes it even more unique. I would like to know your thoughts on this, so let me know in the comments. And if you really find this video informative, share it with your friends. And thanks for watching.